Yeah, I think it's interesting when the pandemic struck, which it did after all out of the blue in March 2020, there was a kind of a, uh, a trough in the number of claims that were brought, not just to court. Remember, we're talking about arbitration as well, particularly for uh, big commercial disputes. And people really were just trying to adjust to the shock of what had happened and supply chains getting um, uh, squeezed and so forth. But I think that, um, that did uh, gradually end. And uh, if you look at the statistics, for example, for arbitration institutions, you can see that in 2021 they were um, picking up. And uh, now, um, I think, if anything, uh, the number of disputes that are coming to court and arbitration are really quite significantly up over 2019. Well, I think it depends on what kind of area you're in. You're talking about evictions. I mean, that has been a massive issue, both commercial and uh, uh, pri pri private people as well. And that is uh, uh, um, ongoing. I don't think we've solved it anywhere. We, said, we certainly haven't solved it in this country, but I think that's, that's, that's common. Because I mean, what do you do uh, if, you, if you give people a, a, a rent holiday, which is the right thing to do, sooner or later, do you end the holiday? Do you end it in tranches? Do you forgive some of it? And so on and so forth. In um, big commercial cases, uh, I would say that um, it's, it's probable that um, uh, it's not going to shoot up that much more. I mean, there does come a stage with big commercial disputes where the, the cost and expense of the dispute really means that um, the, the number of disputes that, are, that any uh, corporate business or, or indeed smaller business is prepared to get into is, is you know, limited just because it is so expensive. Well, I think it's a really serious point because uh, small and medium-sized enterprises find it very difficult to um, afford uh, litigation or, or arbitration. And there is a, a danger that this part of the business community re really finds itself in quite a difficult uh, situation when it comes to disputes. But that, I think, is uh, where um, negotiation, um, mediation, really anything that can uh, uh, prevent a uh, a dispute getting to the stage where it is, is in court is so important. But just to also to answer another point of your question, which is, 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 is relevant, I think, to the pandemic, which after all, as we, as we speak in uh, January 2022, is, is still there. Uh, really, um, people uh, don't know what the law is in relation to force majeure and frustration and that kind of issue as applied in this kind of global pandemic with these kind of global supply chains that we did not have in the past. So you, the, the problem with your day in court or your day in arbitration may be that although the, the principles may be clear, how they actually apply to facts may, may not be clear. And that's another reason for you know, tr trying to sort the thing out in advance without going to um, that, that expense because, because the outcome may be less predictable than it seems at first. Well, I think what Sir Geoffrey Voss has said is that uh, he um, thinks that the time has come to accept the principle of uh, mandated mediation. And I think that's right. Uh, he's made it clear, by the way, that that will often be uh, more appropriate for smaller claims. I mean, sometimes for the very, for the very big claims, um, the part, you, you know, can be relatively confident that the parties will have, will have looked at uh, that without the court necessarily needing to mandate it. But I think it will, in the end, um, percolate right through.